What we find with the possession, when we trace their histories, and there are five uh, case histories in that, is that it was a slow consenting year by year. It took about 10, 11, sometimes 14 years for it to happen. When it, they ended up, they were completely possessed. Some people have a funny, very funny idea about possession, Milt and Jerry. They think the possession is the entry of some serpent into the body of the person, you know, and The Exorcist, the film, uh, created a disservice. Now, you must remember about the book and the film, The Exorcist, it's a total fiction. The author never met an exorcist. He was never present at an exorcism. And, uh, well, Blatty says he based it on a case of no, exorcism, which... Um, no, it, he says it was suggested by us. He just published an article three weeks ago in the L.A. Times, in which he said it. Uh, he was suggested by us, but he never met the exorcist. Or like that. It was, uh, off the top of his head, based on the idea. But well, you say the devil doesn't enter into no, a body, but no, in no. these cases of exorcism, and there are five real cases of sure, exorcism sure. that you have investigated closely, sure, sure. I gather you were present in some of these scenes of exorcism. Yes, yes. Uh, certainly the total representation is of a body or a soul possessed by some alien there is a physic, evil there is spirit, a which is ultimately expunged, is in yeah. fact... Uh, but the possession is not... It's, uh, the, the physical contortions they go through are results of it, which I'll explain in a moment to you. What happens is a lock on the will, on the will, much the same as Hitler had. Uh, over his minions, much the same as Charlie Manson attained over his family. And I'm sorry, not saying either were possessed. I had one nine months to find out where they were possessed, to examine them. But the real possession arrives at the point that the will is locked. Now, if I have a lock on you, will totally, I control your thoughts, your memories, your imagination, your body. You can, I can do what I like with you. Some people going down the road to full possession at a certain moment stop, and they want to get out of it. They can't. What they do is they throw themselves into the contortions a baby does. If a baby is not cleaned or is hungry, it screams, it pulls, it kicks. Finally, it'll bang its head against the ground. And uh, I remember my own father, he had a stroke which paralyzed him completely, he couldn't talk. But when he wanted to direct attention, he, he, he burned matches with his right hand. And he made sounds, he moved his hand. It means, help me. <laughs> And that's the state in which we find these people. And therefore, now we don't take it that that is possession. Uh, we send them to three, three doctors. And they examine you, you, you apply, or you're brought for, preserve, for exorcism. They go from the hair of your head to the toes of your feet, and they must completely check you out. If you had a kidney stone, we won't do exorcism over you. If you even have herpes 1, you know this cold sores? No, sir. Any neurological pressure on you, anything at all of a disease, any trace of insanity in the family, although now hereditary insanity is now a moot question for psychologists. But we will not touch you, but you must be checked out. And it's the best checkout you could have. After that, we have two psychiatrists who claim to be healthy-minded atheists. Personally, for me, no atheist is healthy-minded. But anyway, I think they're a bit mad. But they're very good psychiatrists. And they always set about lethally to prove that you're insane or that you have uh, some neurosis or psychosis, that you have some syndrome. I gather you're not talking about all the standard uh, uh, diagnostic procedures used before agents of the church finally are willing to yes, acknowledge that they've got a case of yes. possession this which requires we, the right of exorcism. This is what we do. This is exactly, thank you, Mills, for the correct, that's exactly what we do before it. It all takes about Must nine... Must the two psychiatrists be atheists? Is that no, but they happen the to be. We chose them for that reason, so they wouldn't be prejudiced. And they must come back ruefully and say, look, he's all yours. Uh, we can find nothing in him to treat. No psychiatrist has ever said you're sane, mainly, I think, because most psychiatrists are not quite sane themselves. They don't know what normalcy is. Whereas the peasants in the field in Cyprus or Palestine or England or Ireland or Arabia does know what sanity is because they have it in the belly. However, they must come back and say, no, sir, we have nothing to do with this person. He's perfectly normal in pattern and behavior. Then we try exorcism. Only at that point, because we must exclude anything psychological, anything psychic, anything psychiatric, anything medical or physical. Then we start at doing exorcism, and that's when the fun begins. And we'll hear more about that fun shortly. Jerry Rubin has been looking rather contemplative and certainly yeah. fully fascinated. What do you make of all of this? I don't relate to it at all. I don't believe in evil. Uh, I don't believe in evil spirits. But you do believe in evil. You believe this was an evil nation. No, not evil. Misinformed. Not evil. Uh, we were. But why then would you create such destruction in order to get rid of the misinformation? No, no, we don't, wait, 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 we've got a lot of terms going around here. Uh, we were involved in a war in which we thought we were right. But was the we war thought, evil? Hold on. Was we war thought evil? We, 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 it, it was destructive. 
I wouldn't use the word evil. I mean, I, I could use the word evil, but I have to be clear what I mean by it. I mean immoral. I mean it violated human standards that I have. That's not, evil. Life. That's not evil, Jerry. But I don't believe that the people who did the war were evil people. I believe that they thought they were acting for good, but their role in society and the environment they had around them programmed them to behave a certain way, but, in which, hold on, in which they thought this was the way to be. In other, words, the, in other words, they weren't possessed by evil out there, but the society's structure kept them in a, in, in a system of behavior that turned out to be immoral. And what we had to do was shock the country into a, into a realization that it was the role structure and the way people relate to each other, which is the problem. But Jerry, you used the word immoral. Yeah. Does immoral mean bad? I have bad. I don't know what you mean by bad. Well, I want to know what you mean. Immoral means I bad? value human life. Yes. When I see a huge country, which has enormous technological resources, yes. send planes 10,000 miles away yes. and drop bombs on peasants yes. and call that the battle for freedom, yes. I look back and I say, that's immoral. What do you mean by immoral? It violates my standards. So you are the standard. You are the standard. No, it's it's a basic. I value human life. When human what life. What do you mean by value? What's value? What does value mean, Jerry? I I hold it important. You hold it important. Yes. Only importance. So it wasn't. It was. It was unimportant to drop bombs. If if it's important no. not to drop bombs. No. It, it, no. You know it. it what I mean. We must get a meaning. You must have some every, meaning. To me, every single human life is important. All, hold on. Uh, yeah, important me, for what, Jay? Wait, don't wait, you, don't an inquisition? No, no, I'm here to have to say. Then you have to keep quiet for him. No, I, I want the term. I'm trying to yeah. pronounce it. Well, it's not a matter of term. I value human life. When I see one person kill another, that's a violation of what I consider valuable. I don't use the word evil. I then look at even the murderer, and I find out what happened within him and his society, his conditioning, and his formulation to, to create him to form that murder. Well, Malachi Martin would argue that the murderer has, in fact, yielded to the devil. That's nonsense. No, but it's, it's not nonsense. nonsense. But it's mystification. I, I think we'd rather, it's I'd rather get that. and it prevents people from really uh, uh, dealing with the problem. I think, Jerry, you're mystifying, mystifying, mystifying everything by not giving us what you mean by important. What does important mean? 